is a key battleground state in election 2020 with many voters and more voters than other swing states that could choose to reelect Donald Trump or send Joe Biden to the White House. Yeah, while so much attention is directed to the national convention schedule for next month, campaign strategists say you can't forget about or ignore the ground game. Every single American to know. The ads are on the airwaves and stories turn out every day about election 2020. Donald Trump versus Joe Biden for the White House. This battle, though, happens in the trenches with volunteers making contact with voters. But what they don't do is forget about what they did in 2016 and then have to start all over again. That's an institutional advantage in this campaign and one that will definitely pay, pay big dividends on election day. That's part of Susie Wiles' expertise, the Jacksonville woman given credit for Mr. Trump's slim win in Florida four years ago. Wiles says the ground game pivoted quickly this year from the traditional model of in-person contacts to appropriate pandemic-era distanced and virtual efforts. She is not worried about polls that recently say the president is behind. Can't we have been to this movie before? We have. You and I particularly. Um, you, you Look, in a perfect world, you would always want to be ahead in the polls. Um, but it, it, it doesn't concern me. Well, nothing but respect for Susie, but the reality is, is the cycle is very different. Stephen Shale says the ground game is critical for election 2020, but he says Democrats supporting Joe Biden have been working this battleground state hard and for almost as long as Trump supporters. All of the basic blocking and tackling you would do in a campaign is basically out the window. From candidates holding rallies uh, to, uh, to folks convening in campaign offices to make phone calls. Shale believes the message to voters will resonate and that his candidate's message is stronger. I don't believe a single one of these polls that uh, uh, that has Biden up eight or nine points in Florida. It's going to be a close race. But uh, certainly I think that Joe Biden is in a much stronger place today uh, than Hillary Clinton was at this point. Not the least of which reason is because Donald Trump has been a disastrous president. Wiles says the message from the president will make him a winner again. It's about the economy. It's about the world being a safer place. It's about the country being a safer place. And um, and, and then, yes, to vote. Be sure you vote. And, and whether it's early, whether it's absentee or on Election Day, participation is the heart of our democracy. Wiles was involved in the campaign for Governor Ron DeSantis two years ago when he won here in Florida. Shale runs a super PAC called Unite the Country, which is supportive of the Biden campaign.